As easy as pap is to prepare, it is that one thing that can fail you in the morning when you're trying to prepare breakfast. But today I'm sharing three fail-proof ways to make pap ogi or akamo like it is called and the first one is the hot water over the pap method now this one is a superstar we all know this one from way back because we've been using it and it can be fail proof if you follow the steps i'm going to share with you today so to make this you're going to add some pap into a bowl try to break them up into smaller lumps if you have them in chunky lumps before adding water when you're adding water always add water bit by bit remember you can always add water but you cannot take out water from an already diluted pap and if your mixture is watery at this point the end result is going to be watery what you should be aiming for is a ribbon texture just like this the pap should be able to form a ribbon that's how you know you have a good mixture next you're going to boil some water once it boils you're going to start pouring it over the pap while stirring once the spoon starts getting resistant stop stirring but then keep adding water until it solidifies or until it sets Now, it's not out of place for you to get lumps in your pap once in a while. In that case, just beat it against the bowl just like this and you're good. The first one is ready. Serve and add any sweetener of your choice. You can add milk, you can drink it like that. I like to take my pap plain just like this without adding milk or anything. But yeah, enjoy it the way you prefer. Still on the hot water over the pap method, you can add sorrel drink in place of water and then you have your sorrel drink flavored pap. Yes. So what I did here was just use um, sorrel drink in place of water. Now, let me also state that I did not add any sweetener or sugar to the sorrel drink. No pineapple, no ginger, nothing. I just boiled the sorrel leaves, drained it and added the water straight into the pap. And then once my water boiled, I repeat the same process as how you made the first batch and you have your sorrel flavored pap add any sweetener of your choice you can also add milk if you want and it's ready Number two is a stove top pap. I also like to refer to this one as a baby friendly pap and I'll tell you why in a bit. So first I'm going to add some pap into a pot. The pot, the gas is turned off at this point. I'm going ahead and dissolve the pap in water first before turning on the gas. With this method, you're going to require more water. The consistency should be light. Once the pap and water have mixed in properly, turn on the gas and then start stirring continuously until it thickens up. Now back to the story. When I used to feed my baby's pap, I used to make the pap the, other, the first method, that's the hot water over the pap method, and then put it on fire again and cook it for another three to five minutes. I wanted the pap to thicken up and become kind of stretchy because I discovered that that way it kept my baby's fuller for a longer period of time. But with this method, you don't have to go through the first one before cooking it again. Just go straight and cook it this way and you're good to go serve and add any sweetener of your choice but if you're going to be giving this to a baby please don't add sugar for them just add enough milk to make it very creamy and they'll enjoy it so that's that for number two
Number three, which is the last but not the least, is the microwave method. This sounds easy, but trust me, this is the trickiest method. First, you're going to add some pap into a bowl, dissolve it with water. Once you get a smooth consistency like this, you're going to add more water. We are also aiming for a light consistency, but don't overmix it. It is better to add hot water to your already set pap than to overmix the batter at this point. So next, I'm going to pop it into my microwave and then heat my timer to 30 seconds. The timing here is key. If you overdo it, your pap is going to come out looking like agidi and you don't want that and it's going to be gummy and chewy it's not going to look like pap yeah it's not going to look anything close to this as you can see my pap is quite thick if you don't want it this thick add hot water this was what i meant when i said it's better to add hot water to your already set pap than to over mix it at the beginning and that's it for this video add any sweetener of your choice add milk if you want and enjoy Thank you so much for watching this video till this point if you enjoyed this video please thumbs up this video share to one or two of your friends somebody might just find it helpful and let me know in the comment section do you know how to make pap eh have pap for your hand before let me know just tell me my ears inside the comment section thank you so much for watching see you guys in my next video god bless you guys bye